shines brighter on this side of the university. Father Saturnino Orios University's On the Sunny Side is now on its second season. We bring you stories from our students, faculty, and the Orion community. We aim to spread hope and positive vibes to get us through these trying times. Tune in at 10.30 in the morning every Wednesday at FSU's Facebook pages and YouTube channel. Don't forget to always choose to be on the sunny side. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Positive Vibes, where we aim to give you love and light through meaningful conversations. I am Anne Monique. And I'm Gerald, and you are watching On, on the, the Sunny Side, Side Season 2. Ayan, good morning, sunshine. Good morning, sunshine. Good morning, Anne. Oh, good mm -hmm. morning sa at mga viewers karon nga gawas. Yes, and of course, today's episode is very special of because course. it is something serious it yes. is something that yes. but before all of that ladies and gentlemen ako sa introduce ang kauban yes. karon kung natinghala mo okay sa niya ang kauban karon no kung bago na siya sa inyong mga banan oh <laughs> siya to si banan. Gerald oh, oh Ger pero dili Anderson guys mm -hmm. oh oh uh, uh, upper son okay. so good morning <laughs> maka sunshine so actually we are interns i'm an intern student yes. so apart from our job also is like this mm -hmm. so Speaking of internship, Anne, kaya nagsulti na bitag internship. Yes. Kamu kamusta ang akong internship? Yeah. So, Ikaw wow. na lang nakuta na si mong kaugalingon, kaya syempre. So, mm -hmm. uh, first week siguro, Anne, kay um, very um, heavy, I mean, uh, not heavy, but um, observation, more on no. observation. Mm -hmm. And as we go on, exciting po, Anne, at the same time, challenging. Ikaw? Yes. Oh, ako, I'm very happy na finally maka-immerse na ko sa, yes. mm -hmm, sa strategics True. communication. Kaya lahat namin ginang work sa mag-host lang. Mm -hmm. O, oh, ba? So, moto, Shout out sa atong mga kauban nga intern deha. Mm. Sa atong mga seniors <laughs> inside and outside no sa campus, yes. so sa inyo ha. Oh, mm -hmm. I hope you're doing Shout well. Shout out kang Dana. Shout out kay Dana og sa ato ang um, 6 million viewers and counting. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Ayan. Inyo, so since na naman ta dire karon, um our topic for today is about getting real about addiction okay. ayan so um this is sponsored by our student, student services, services which yes. is comprised of the dsa, DSA or aura clinic and guidance yeah so shout out po sa ilaha diha na sila mga offices na nanaon yes. tamo Part, uh, we aim to give also a safe space magod po din sa atong on the sunny side. That's why we need to talk about addiction, not only as kanang addiction, but also understanding why. Pero kay, so, syempre, before na to na siya ma-insert ma or ma-dig in on that, Anne, mm -hmm. um, siguro, um, on si mga hobby ni mo, Anne, na, na permi bitaw ni mo, mm -hmm. and then um, it impedes your daily life. <gasps> Um, diba kay mo ingon mo sila amarag ang addiction kay murag about substance mm -hmm, use and but in this um, modern day murag daghan na kaayo og kanang forms of mm -hmm. addiction and dijud ko mo din ay na feel na ko um, kanang paggamit na ko sa kong gadget Correct. Uh, it impedes na my daily life feel na ko na wala koy wala kanang abi na ko gikapoy kay ko abi na ko sa akong gibuhat pero if i look back on the day gagamit ra ko sa akong True. cellphone like 4 hours straight and wala wala koy nabuhat sa akong 4 hours straight ikaw ra ko ay magi pamutan ako kay basic admit um actually sa ako uh, um i'm a huge fan no of uh, movies series, series. so uh, kana gid na ako uh, and big jamalis i'm a huge fan for that mm -hmm. and siguro um it actually impedes by kana bitaw something uh, you need to accomplish one thing tahay and then mm. apparently di nimo siya ma-accomplish tungod kay dag, na, na set aside na siya so mm. yan ang uh, aspect na ah. murag malimot na tanga mm. na that i need buhaton anyway since we're going to talk about addiction of course dili man may experts ni Gerald for that so um, we have invited special guests no people who can really um, explain to us and of course mm -hmm. um, give us the best advice of yes. what we should do and how to identify if we're already getting there. Right. Ayan. So, of course, this morning, ladies and gentlemen, we have um, very special guests, just, just like what I said kanina. And, um, di na naku pa pa. Yes, karakaraka na Yes, ako nang introduce ang um, among, so kuan, guest among, <laughs> among guest speaker. Na, mm, about this matter. Yes, among head so, ni Gerald Karon sa among. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, our first speaker graduated BS Biology. And, doc and his doctor of medicine at the University of Santo Tomas. He passed the physician licensure exam last 1995. He was one of the 
past president of the Philippine Academy of Family of Physicians, and a board-certified member of the Philippine College of Occupational Medicine. And he has been practicing family medicine for 20 years already at EROM Maternity Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, walay lain ang pinakagwapo sa Oreos. Dr. Jesus Maria Oshler K. Bringas. A big round of virtual applause. Hey. Thanks for the, um, the compliment. And by the way, it's my honor and my privilege to uh, share my whatever I have. Uh, mm -hmm. In, uh, in this uh, topic now. Yes. I am actually practicing family physician uh, for 20 years. And then, uh, uh, with regards to this addiction medicine, uh, disclaimer lang, uh, I'm not an expert uh, in addiction medicine, but I can uh, give you my viewpoints, uh, especially if I have encountered patients like this. So, ang akong kwan, since family physician is basically uh, primary care, so my task is to evaluate the patient first and then refer to a certain institution, like for example, those with uh, the pedia and the, in case of drug addiction, ha, gilet na So, maura to siya, so, so, on sa may akong kuhan, dungagon pa. So, to get into this uh, kuhan, I would share my knowledge, uh, on say akong nahibawan about addiction and then its forms, yes. like, like you told me. Na. Yes, Lord. So, okay, whenever you're ready, ladies and gentlemen, sige. our presentation. Ayan. Basta na kay gusto i-shout out doc, doc before ka magsugod. Mm. Uh, okay, shout out to my uh, children who are watching hey! right now. Yay! <laughs> uh, they actually in uh, inspired me doing this because my son is actually uh, also in multimedia mm -hmm. and drawing anime and then my my my, my daughter is also in uh, <laughs> doing online also. Um, mm. okay. So uh, one, one of the forms of addiction actually is closer to my heart ka tong itaw na game addiction. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. So anyway, uh, so let's go into my uh, presentation. No? Okay. So uh, according to the American Society of Addiction Medicine, uh, addiction is a treatable medical or chronic medical condition involving a complex interaction among the brain circuits, genetics, and environment, and an individual's life experiences. So take note. It's more of a medical disease, no? Mm -hmm. It's also a chronic dysfunction of medical, uh, a chronic dysfunction of brain system that involves reward, motivation, and memory. It is uh, about the way your body craves for a substance or a behavior, in which uh, it uh, then causes a compulsive behavior, and then in that behavior, a prostitution or reward and lack of control of this behavior can can lead to this consequence, no? And take note also, it's lack of control, no? Mm. So, next slide, please. So, next slide. So, we have also to define uh, misuse versus addiction. Now, misuse is uh, overusing something or over uh, overindulging in a behavior in which it is already done in appropriate situation. An example is alcohol. Kanang mag kag alcohol in, in a simbahan. That is appropriate. And then, uh, Misuse of something, kung permina na siya dayon, that is the da then addiction. So, mo na siya. So, next slide, please. So, we have to for tackle first alcohol addiction. So, uh, before anything else, uh, I would mention also this uh, couple of substances that are uh, in, uh, in this addiction. So, there's a substance, there's a behavior. So, one of example is this alcohol addiction. No? Alcohol is a uh, use disorder. Which up affects kanang uh, ang person always desires for alcohol. Tapos wana siya control ana kanang nagalit. And its consequence na kanang morag high kanang high niya is morag grogi ka na mo nang iyang gusto iya chip. And in that state mo nang makaadik sa iya. So ironically, it's very kwan headaches and everything. So despite that, he, he wants to experience those feelings. Mo nang mo nang addiction dayan tao. Tapos it would lead to. Uh, Kanang mo uncontrollable na ka, tapos in a way na it would influence your relationship with other people, and then, uh, and then you you are always uh, smelling alcohol all the time, di ba? Mo na siya. Tapos, uh, it is actually a um, kanang mo problem that the person will not stop drinking anymore, and will also spend a lot of time thinking about alcohol. Mo na siya. Tapos, uh, they don't mind or how much they consume, and then before they realize, reala uh, realize it, Wa na kay job, wa na kay mga amigo, wa na katanan, and then despite that, they're still continuing. It's like sa kanamurag na 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 something malfunction of your brain in this one. So next is uh, 
mo ni ma effect sa alcohol addiction no kada murag depende pod sa iyang strength which is uh, known as the spirits kung the higher the spirit the more faster it goes to its effect and then it would lead to health problems like for example sa cardiovascular it would induce a state of inflammation in which magkapilit-pilit imong mga kuan kanang cholesterol sa imong blood ana or blood vessels and then in the long term it would also affect your liver in in a way you could uh, develop kanagitaw na cirrhotic liver disease because of alcohol and other than that other complications like for example amnesia you can't remember anything anymore or you easily uh, can forget things tapos uh, sexual dysfunction ang mga couples di sila ka anak or di sila ka perform ana so in uh, with relation to others also you uh, often get fights with other people nakalimot ka na imong na naaway imo day igsoon or imong or nasumbagan nimo imong kuan na wa naka wa nakahibaw ana tapos aside from that you would be in a risky behavior for example when you're driving mo na siya madisgrasya ka ana and ultimately it would cause death pod and then mapriso ko you will also violate the law in mapriso pod ka so mo na ingong consequence sa alcohol addiction no? so next kani very popular smoking smoking is a diba inhalation yeah. so we have to take note diba katong terms na to before it's more of you initiate something and then you you frequently do it and then it becomes uncontrollable because you cannot control using it mm. one of them is the smoking kay it's very acceptable in our society kay uh, baga, you can you can see students smoking around diba pero sa ato diba bawal ang smoking pwede lang we uh, we actually have a uh, policy on that and then uh, it 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 is uh, actually an, an addiction in which uh, it goes to you through inhalation now according to uh, the, the study it would take 10 seconds for the nicotine to take effect on your brain in which uh, it would cause a changes in chemistry now the first puff daw it would cause a uh, tawagan ng morbag stimulates and morbag high ka per kana morbag on the go ka pero following the second puff daw it would uh, give relaxation so because of that those of those effect kung permanent ni mo button and then it becomes a bit habitual it would uh, cause a rewiring of your brain in which you cannot uh, get away from the habit anymore so the long term effects mo na siya addictive to, to the point na daka kay mga lesions sa imong mouth kay it is a burn burning actually pag pag ikaw ni mong smoke na i burning na mahita bo or heating up of your mouth so it would cause ulcers kana mga nang kuan damage sa tooth ano ba teeth yeah. na and ultimately sa lungs kay siya magud ang mo kuan mo dawat sa smoke sa smoking in which it would cause a fatal disease long term uh, it would first uh, manifest as kana gitaw na COPD and then ultimately it would become cancer because uh, in the lungs we have the the cleaning uh, mechanisms like the cilia of the cells pag ma, ma as a term it would be uh, damaged or it would malfunction katong mga phlegm na nasa atong lungs it would accumulate into the lungs no so uh, because of that there will be air trapping mo na ng COPD so you can see the mga tao gali na mga it's either payat na grabbing ubo-ubo niya hangag tapos daghay problema mo gawas mo nang other end and the other end is tambok na permi mag lagom mo gitaw na blue bloaters mo nang COPD ang pinaka kuan gid anang kuan uh, cause it would uh, i mean the, the result of this would be lung cancer mo na siya so now uh, mo ni siya ang uso kanang vaping kay ang vaping man god is uh, uh, the kind misconceptions ani they they are thinking that vaping is safe daw kay it's not nicotine uh, we have to emphasize that uh kanangaling diba addiction is more of the habit of doing it and then frequently and then without realizing consequences of doing that it's the same it's not about the nic nicotine or we have to say that addiction is smoking it's it's about the habit and then frequently doing it and then uh the kind na samukan sa imo na nag-anak aso-aso sa imo ana gali one ang point addiction that's still addiction but it it doesn't have to be an uh, nicotine the back ay ang sick in cigarette it's nicotine so mona siya so next so uh nanata sa drugs so morning pinaka grabe ka daghay topic na i discuss no so uh drug addiction so it is more in this drug addiction 
addictions sa drugs, no? It is more of a substance use disorder. And this is disease that affects the, the person's brain and behavior and it leads to the inability to control the use. Muna siya. Okay, aside from nai willingness ang kwan, kaning drug mismo, mo po yung makakos o ganang damage in way na wana na siya control. Especially sa brain. Okay, ang brain is uh, our uh, this is the seat of our decision making, di ba? Kung when there's a drug uh, or damaging that or influencing that, there, there will be, uh, it would lead to um, poor decision making, impulse control, kanang kalit og decide na ana, tapos na iuban kalit og kanang change of mind, ana kalit. Uh, tapos the risk for addition is how fast the drug could affect your brain. Mana siya, how fast. So, ang kwa nani is, uh, ang goal aning kwan daw sa addicts is to achieve the high. Now, the continuous use of that drug could lead to higher doses to achieve the same high. Kaya naman kita tawo na down regulation of receptors. With, actually, it's a medical concept pero di lang ako i-evaluate na. Pero it's something like that. It's more of uh, increasing the amounts of the drug to achieve the same high. So, in that consequence, dito dahil magawas ang mga complications, health problems, ana. Especially kanang develop ka hypertension, uh, subsequent stroke, kidney damage, and so the the stop of using this and then the intense cravings, mo na nang di na di ni mo makontrol and then it it uh, would uh, show some physical and withdrawal symptoms. Mo na siya ang kanang nasa drug. So the following would be the drugs, uh, specific uh, effects of the drugs. So next slide, please. Uh, oh, before anything else, kani morning kwan exact uh, mechanism how it affects the brain now. Our prefrontal cortex or prefrontal cortex is the one that uh, uh, is the one that uh, controls the decision making, and then the other parts also controls our uh, feelings, our emotions, and uh, so on. Some abnormal, and uh, in case, uh, in case, uh, uh, um, effect dies a brain, na something uh, irregular na may tabo. For example, crying in appropriate times or laughing in appropriate time. Mo na siya. Uh, mo nang tao ka ng, ng kuwan sa drugs, no? Tapos, uh, likewise, it also cause long-term effects. Like, for example, it uh, it uh, can cause uh, lung damage. Same kay, na, na, na form of drugs din na sa smoking pod. And then, wapata na kuman. <laughs> Tapos, uh, it would uh, cause stroke. And then, a stroke is a uh, consequence of the complication of using of the drug, like hypertension, di ba? Tapos ultimately cancer and even even in the long term death dayon. And then na isa ka mention dia kanang infections like HIV, HIV or oh, hepatitis. So sige. So the first uh, the, the first drug to mention is marijuana. Kay kaning manggid marijuana. Uh, this is some kanang murag smoke na siya na murag downer, downer. Oh, it is a downer. Oh, tapos it uh, makes you feel kanang morag high sa spermiro nga smell lang ni mo daan. Uh, actually, I have uh, smelled some of this in my college days, but I didn't, uh, 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 <laughs> I didn't get addicted. I just, uh, in consequence, because it, it is, uh, I, can, I can smell it, I can recognize the smell mang good. Mm -hmm. Kay morag, we are actually exposed to one before we, we teach others. We have to expose ourselves and smell lang ang gamay. You're not using it, huh? No, yes, okay, Para maka-recognize. <laughs> <laughs> so the signs and symptoms of this using is kanang morag uh, euphoria, mm -hmm. ba? Euphoria high. Mm -hmm. Mo nang reason why na gusto mo na na ang mga adik na aning effect. So uh, it would result into uh, red eyes dahil katong typical gud makita sa mga adik before in back in, the, in those days in our high school. Makakita gali kag kanang kanang murag kuan, kanang oh, yeah. Red eyes, mm -hmm. di ba? Adik niya. Tama na. Ay pagdawat o kindi nila kay mo hatag niya, di ba? Tama na. Back in elementary <laughs> days. Oh, <laughs> kana kayo. Oh. So it is a uh, kaniyang makita niyo ang pasyente or or individual na na red ang eyes, red flag na siya for this kind of. So dry mouth food. <laughs> oh, that, oh, kaya si kaya ng water si kaya wow ana. Pues ang long term effect ani use sa marijuana is mablanted na imong thinking, more bag slow to thinker na slow thinking na ka, wa na kay mental sharpness. So, mao na siya tapos long term and then other than that ay lang disease kay smoke man siya. So, the same as smoking na gyapoy mga kwansa lungs, madaot na na fluoritis or kanang kanang pneumonitis ana. 
Tapos, it would also lead to certain uh, conditions, mental conditions like schizophrenia. Ang delikado ani kung, kung nana siya dana ng mental disease and then mo, mo magnify na siya, mo grabe, so, so mo siya. And then some other effects, increased, ano kumakitaan? Increased, increased testosterone. Oh. Ay, oh, by the way, balik dato, na special mention ako. Mao na nga, kanang, kaninga siya nga, nga drug. It would uh, increase the testosterone levels in females and then decrease the testo uh, testosterone in males. So, oh, posit. So there is a uh, more an infertility resulting lo the long term, and then, wala, they 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 cannot uh, more they cannot perform. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so more inhibited ilang mga kwan. So mo nasa. So. Oh, lagi mo nasa. So mo nasa. So next slide nata. So hallucinogens. Mo ni mga na eye detachment. Kana more bag. Ang imong uh, misinterpretation of your senses, di ba? Hallucinations. Morning cause ana ni nga drug no, using this drug. So, kanigaling uh, LSD kaning Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds katong yeah. Lucy back. <laughs> katong patong sa back in the Beatles time ona yes. siya. It is a drug that is a uh, more bag it uh, cause hallucinations in which there, there's a uh, reduced perception of reality or a perception of another reality. For example, you can hear colors, monisya na mga drugs, no? And then you are uh, feeling of being separated from your body. Morabag, you are con having a uh, morabag detachment from your body. It's like a de decapitation, so. Oh. So in that in that way, morag na mona ka cause of coma, di ba? Heart failure and then uh, ni, catatonic. So morag magahigahi ana cataton catatonia and behavior changes na murag ka nang related to ka na murag uh, in, your interaction with other people po murag murag ag stoic ka na murag uh, you're, oh, you're not there murag ana ba present, right? so Present so not. by the way what i am teaching you ha is the the practical way of seeing these drugs na lang kaysa i specific ginako ng mga scientific uh -huh. di ba miss so yes. i my audience by the way are students right kung yes, ana Okay, I'm I'm safe. <laughs> so there is no medical person to kwan to evaluate me. So I just uh, I'm just sharing this kind of more about a practical way of thinking it. Bak it's a specific you know, and the danger sign of course. So next slide please. So morning met met uh, cocaine and other stimulants no. So stimulants so meaning uh, high energy it uh, gives a lot of energy. So what are these drugs? These are the cocaine. Mo na siya? Cocaine, amphetamine, and dextroamphetamine. Mo na yung mga drugs na for diet, ano, for being awake at night para makastudy. Actually, this is the one used by kanang hustlers and mga students na mag gusto magstudy. Actually, this should be addressed gid and we have to be aware of this kay this is the most abuse kay kanang mag gusto magpaniwang, ano, gusto mag kanang perform ana sa sa ilang mga ah, oh. performers do mm, kana siya we have to be aware of this kay kay this is the the one used for dieting na oh. mm -hmm. diba yes. improve performance at work and school yeah. so we have to be aware we have to be aware of this drug mm -hmm. and then uh, it also it's used for losing weight and controlling appetite mm -hmm. so ang abuse ani so therefore di na kagana mo kaon mamayat na ka mo na ang kanang mga tao na Addicted, you can see the 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 users of this drug is kind of payat na kayo, grabi na kapayat, grabi ka lagat na kayo. It's like a hyper state forever. Wala ko nagamit do kasi lagat ko do. Oh, katong mga kanang science na gitam kanang pas pas mo storya nagali. So di ba? So na po yung isa yung mention kaning cocaine, no? So di ba it's in the form of kanang inhalation. So pag mo kwan mo breathe ka na na i Sigilag congest ang ilong, ana. And then it would also cause kanang mga sinusitis, ana. Or kanang mga daka infection sa nose, mo na siya, tungod because of the use of cocaine. It's inhaled. And the other end is injected. Kanang injected pod, mo nang, mo nang actually na risk for sexual transmission of HIV. I know, it's not sexual transmission, but it is a risk for a contracting HIV kay sharing of needles, ana. Mo nang katumet ang fetamine. Okay, bali, Dok, makahad na siya sa taktor. So, 
again, I have to emphasize, mo ni ang tanawon dapat kay sa mga students kay mo ni gamiton actually sa pag study nila kay to perform well or to kay katugon tapir mi unda go tapir mi ane galing. We have to watch this in our campus kay mo ni it could be used actually scary ka ini siya. So, di ba? Magrominit sa tadiri yun sa man. Next slide. So, the... So, the... Sorry, doc. Sorry, doc. So, the... Nadala siya, doc. So, the next is the club drugs. Mawin ka na yung drugs na used for. Ka na mga feeling happy always. Ka na nga na. Sa mga parties, ginagamit. Di ba? Kita na yung mga sa mga concerts, ana. Di ba? Ka na mga silag happy, ana. Ka na... Makita niyo mo ang mga nagamit ano yung mga user ano yung silag smile silag katawa ana for for no reason at all tapos na ecstasy di ba mo na ecstasy so feeling ecstasy ang the problem with this using this drug is along with this na magkui mga maghitabo na mga marape dere ano galing na mga drug kanis yung mga drug so it would cause in a long term kung permi ni gamit on permi happy always di ba makab brain damage po nasa tapos ano na tapos kidney failure, hemorrhage, kay it would cause hypertension, di ba? And psychosis, di ba? So psychosis, simply kay sigla ka katawa na, with no reason at all, di ba? So, so next is the barbiturates. Mao ni mga medically na reset na ni sa mga doktor. The problem is na may incident na marag mo gamit ani ang isakap patient na gireset ang doktor pero ang problem is na iyang relative na nagamit, na di ba? Some stories about this, no? It is a prescription, di ba? Prescription drug, central nervous system depressants, no? And it's often used and misused in the sense of relaxation. Morning switch off. So, this is also used for those persons na gusto mag-switch off sa ilang depression or switch off sa ilang mga pain or thoughts and feelings switch off. So, mood swings like that. Ang effect ani is initially you could see drowsiness, dizziness, and confusion. So the same as the other drugs, it would in long in a long term na siya gid kanang effects na makakos og seizures or catatonia or consequence of kung mental disease mo, mo grabe ang mental disease. So mana siya. Unless prescribed though. Oh, the problem is the prescription is supposed to be for that individual. However, there's a relative or a friend si Gordon and his his. Giving that for the friend, mo na siyang problem. So this should be controlled by. Anyway, we have kanagiran ng reseta na yellow pad na mo nagigamit git for for determining that that drug is really regulated and it it is potentially can be addicting mo na siya na mga kwan. So next are the oh inhalants. Mo ning pinaka makit anato around us, including the ink. Kana mga aromatic na mga humot, like for example, rugby. Tapos mga glue, mga paint thinners, mo na siya. Diba? Marker, fluid. Oh, Sorry. Uh, gasoline pagid, pati gasoline oh, pod. No, no. Kay, uh, <laughs> ang, ang cause anong pag-use anong is it, it would uh, give you a sense of euphoria and then dizziness. So, uh, addicts would, uh, mo nang ilang effect na gusto na i-persist. Uh, using that always and then it would become a habit. You know, addiction. So next is a opioid or painkillers. Morning, ma medically kwan pod ni siya na pain killing no. Oh, so we ah we we doctors also be careful of these drugs. It is a narcotic, a pain killing drug that is ah produced from opium. Oh, and it's made synthet synthetically. Tapos in it would be ah in the form of heroin, dyne, more codeine, and methadone. Oni mga mga recommended o ginareseta ginamo sa patients in pain siya. So the sign of this narcotic use is more of the reduced sense of pain. So that state po mo nang gusto po nila i achieve kanang walay pain. So di ba? So using that always mo na addiction dahil. So okay next. Ah this is actually this this topic is very close to my heart. I only shorten it kay mga kwan. So this is a behavior in which dito dahil ka nagka-persit o gimong behavior na you would allow other things to happen despite consequences na namarag di nakakatulog, wala na kay friends, di na ka makipagkita sa mga imong friends or kundili di na ka mo join sa family, mga family outing because i-prioritize ni mo ni siya nga addiction. So this is a pattern of persistent and recurring gaming behavior. So gaming behavior. 
kanang gaming behavior, kanang aling feeling ni mo na, kanang uh, kung nai game na nahitabo, di ka ma, wabag, nai something ni mo na magusto di ka ma-appeal. Kaya mo rag, chasing the price or what, anak galit, ng klaseng a feeling. That is kung addicted na ka. Mm -hmm. So this may be online or offline. So di ba, it is a uh, manifested by impaired control over gaming, increasing priority, even if gaming to the extent that it is more important compared to other interests and daily activities and continuation of this gaming despite of the recurrence of negative consequences. So di ba, di ba nag-mention ka before about the gadget? Yes, yeah. It's basically the same. Social media, mawagin na siya. So, uh, like I said, it's cl closer to my heart because th uh, before my college days, mm -hmm. I was addicted to a game oh. to which uh, it, it made a consequence. I mm -hmm. uh, mention it. But anyway, I would mention it rather. Kay para no. At least you aware of it. But yes, it would yeah. uh, decrease your school performance. Kay your priority is always going to play the game, mm -hmm. Tapos you, you Before you know it, wana nang time flies na and then. Yeah. There's a Napa sense of kayo. high pudok no sa feeling. Oh, okay. kanang uh, the, the sense of community pod kay oh. while you're playing kan labi na kan online game, you feel that you belong to some group. Oh. And then you're uh, you are up to cer a certain reward or certain mm. goal. Diba? Mo na siya ang feeling. Kanang feeling ang makaaddict. Mo pud na makaaddict pod oh. and then before you know it, diba? Yeah, wala na kan isbog de sa imong inkuranan. So, oh, mag <laughs> So, kada gid ano nga ato man ay psyche kan kay doctor nga ang um, addiction na gid siya long term effects. Yes. Right? Oh, And also we also encourage our uh, viewers no mm -hmm. to please send your questions, questions because it will be entertaining. Right? Yes. And, And we, we have a question here doc from um, Kate Don. Is there a reason po ba why some people become addicted first use pa lang while others don't? Ah uh, okay. Uh, there are some th some uh, factors in in addiction in which we uh, should consider pod no one thing is uh, you have a family of addicts pod mm. you you are in a family na who are addicted to something and then you are in it mm -hmm. tapos uh, it is not uh, one uh, more bag it would be easy for you to be addicted on something pod because of the kanang environment. family family uh, environment mm -hmm. also your genetics pod kay uh, the hab the habit of the, i mean addiction could be within the family Mga po na maka reason why na dali po ma-addicted ang individual because he has addiction in the family also. Mm -hmm. So kibali within the environment. Within the environment so, so, so one of the treatment po sa mga addicts is to isolate the individual from the environment mo na siya. Oh, mo nang naatay ko an. Oh, mo na. Um, sa tawag ani kanang rehab. Nay rehab. Oh. Tapos na po yung kanang kuan gali na dapat uh, If you are in an addictive environment or a toxic environment that encourages addiction, you have to get away from it. Ah, okay. That's the mm. idea nga dapat mo hawa ka. Mm -hmm. So, with, the, with that question, is it, is, it, uh, is it possible na ma-addicted the first? Oo. Oh, oh. Now, it's, it's also your willingness to be addicted, <laughs> di ba? Yeah. You, are, you always have your decision-making at first. Mm -hmm. Kaya mo man ng uh, layer man as a layer by layer. Mm -hmm. At first, more about, there's a stimulus. Tapos, kanang, depende lang sa imo kung ganahan ka ng stimulus. Mm -hmm. So, oh, if na prime na nimo na imong imong prime na is that is something dangerous or that is something bad, then na na you have to sa first palang sa first palang ay na pag first thing palang ganon yung buhaton is to avoid it. Avoid, okay. Sa tao ni makakadikana then na. Kaya yudok dog ato makanang maunhandaan ba niya? We can't get away na. Oh, mana? First, it's the decision making. Yeah, mm. it's the choice. The choice. Oh, to do it. Okay. Next question, Doc. I mean, I don't have questions. How can <laughs> someone stop the habit of being addicted to these kind of illegal drugs if they wanted to stop it? What steps should they do? Mm -hmm. So, grabe intervention na dayon ta. Derecho siya. <laughs> Actually, it's a topic that is uh, supposed to be ah, discussed by, later by on. Okay. Uh, the following speak uh, by Doctora. Mm -hmm. oh, no. So, uh, Okay, in addiction mango, there is there are there are quite more layers or mm -hmm. kind of stages. First is earlier stage, mo nang stage of stimulus or stage na in which kana point you have to decide oh. na stop. Mm -hmm. Next, kung nagamit na ka, mm -hmm. kung nai effect or something na nai effect, na nai na nai something bad ang effect or ang problema po lagi kay kanang euphoria na oh. high, mo na ang second. The next is you would see that something is wrong already na marag na ang imong family na nai, di ba? 
Ang the fourth stage is na nakai condition, na nakai medical condition in which nila. Si ba in those stages, dapat each na may corresponding na dapat i-decide ni mo kung padayon ba ka or dili. Now in the the late stage, di na ka kakuha na nakai simple na nakai na na doubt na yung relationships na na. And then labi na the fourth one kaya na nakai medical condition. So kung ma-perceive na ni mo something dangerous or something Sa first stage pa lang, you have to control it. Ay, napag-uwat. True. Diba? Pero sa kuan, Dok, like for example, naka sa first stage, syempre, ikaw nga na, sa, na no. nag-use. Mer, dili kayo ka ma, makahibaw nga. You're going in that path na day. As someone nga nagtanaw, Dok, unsa mo ang ay buhaton, anak na lang, para makahelp ka, anak na tao. So, we have always uh, this counseling in our school, diba? Mm -hmm. Kung may problems, you have to approach someone, diba? Kung may problem. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Okay, actually, uh, the, the reason why pod na addicts become addicts is because there is a problem in inside him or outside him or yeah. there is something naka nakapusa sa iya. Mm -hmm. So addressing that, dahil matay mo counseling services sa school, di ba? Mo na. Di ba? Tino tungi ng ni Doc na um, dili dito mga tog outright judgment because oh. nagid na problems po nagiatubang, which is kana ang atong mm -hmm. dapat. Tabangan at first. Oh. Oh. At first, we need to know the reasons why kinta hayan. Oh, we have to not to be judgmental mm -hmm. dahil sa isa ka tao na nai problem. No? Doc, my question to okay. from Fiona, what are the ways to stop video games or social media addiction? <laughs> oh. And as yeah, should we, we delete the apps or are we are there yeah. ways to control this? From your experience, Doc, kumusta? Ah, okay. From my experience, uh, katong nag ask a question, no? Asa my camera? Okay. There. You should, uh, <laughs> you should uh, try to make uh, self-discipline, baka nang limit your use, muna siya, time, and then be, 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 kwan, be, tawa na, follow gina ni mo, imong, kwan, be consistent, about intentional it. about doing that. Kay, kung mag, sige lang play, randomly, ana lang, that's where addiction could, could go in, di ba? Wala tayo control, wala tayo, kwan, we have to control one way or another atong mga, mm -hmm. So we have to pay, place a schedule for that or for gaming and it's scheduled for. It's a matter of just time management. Okay. And set li limits. Go oh, set limits. Yeah. So for example, if you have a lot of fatigue or you have a fatigue, that's the end point. Mm -hmm. Ayaw pag kuan, because you're excited, you have to put your priority on health. Think about it always. So, so it's good for you that social media is your question. Ang relate to mm -hmm. So, pag sa social media, it's so good for you, you know, sa ilaha nga part. Kaya mo ito nga, i-delete mo daw nila or delete. Oo, i-delete mo daw nila ilang app. Isa po, kanan ka ng way of dealing with addiction is willingness. Now, if you're willing to delete that app, then go ahead, di ba? If that's one way of controlling your potentially your addiction. Ikaw do katong sa imong part. If it's okay to talk about oh, katong moment unsa na moment adto ni mo doc na nakaayong kag oh, this is wrong mo stop na ko mo kani. What what's the kanang turning, turning point, point. nga niingon kana? Turning point. Tama na. <laughs> okay. Na impede na akong okay. life. Uh -huh. Oo. Ah uh, kanang the moment that you have decided na diha mm -hmm. nagikutob. It's actually a decision mm -hmm. tapos uh, you don't have to wait. Kay you always have to think that your your head is over your body, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, ang decision making yapo nato ang makamater ani. Kay, if you would uh, say uh, no, that is uh, actually a an, uh, proof that you are a strong person. You're already matured na enough to decide for yourself. Na dapat kan argi na kutob. Maugin na siya. Unsa na time sa imo dok na kayo kag dinhin na lang yun ko kutob? Unsa mo napansin sa imo kaugalingon? Hindi <laughs> okay. so, kay, kuan magud. Pareha, no. Ay, dili ba? Dili na ko kutob magduwag video game. Grabe na. Hindi kay, pareha na kebali dok. Makaingon ko nga. Unsa nga time ka nakamata na? Alam mo na, wala na lagi ko nag... Wala ko nagbali-bali kung unsa na ko oras. Wala ko nagbali-bali kung unsa na ko oras. Katong ikaw nga nag video game ka dok. Actually, it's a morning stage of self-realization. Kay dapat you have to be aware on what is happening have to be aware on uh, what what you're doing, diba? You have to be aware. Isa po na awareness. Mm -hmm. So, diba, aside from uh, be, uh, capacity to say no, tapos you're aware of what is happening to you, mm -hmm. what is, uh, yan, and you, you're aware of what is uh, going to happen. Ano galing ang klase nga kwan? So, it's important that you have to, marabag self uh, insight, marabag, you have the, the, the capacity to think na 
this is something wrong, this is something I have to stop. Anak gali. Mm -hmm. siya, kanang self-realization. Sige, Dok. Speaking of realization, Narte, is, kabalik, natin pangot na. Pakibalik question. nung una na question. Mm. Why, Why is, is it, it hard to identify kung no, that you are addicted to something? Di ba kay self-realization mm -hmm. o nagnuta na siya, gano'n lang hard man to identify? Okay. It's hard to identify if you're denying yourself. Ito, ano, diba? hindi lagi mag-deny. Denial na siya, actually. Mm -hmm. It is hard for a person to recognize that he's addicted if he's denying it. So, like I said, you have to be aware, Gina. You have to be aware na mao na siya. It's something bad. It's something uh, keeping me away from my family. It's something keeping me away from my uh, work. Ano gali? Pero Doc, is it safe to say nga, di ba kayo naapiktuhan na lagi ang ilang huna-huna sa kanang chemicals or sa kuan nga? Kanang, kana po na choices nila, Doc, mo ingunta, dili na na siya voluntary. Ang uban choices, labi na Yes, yes. There's a point na kinalang kag medical help or someone else would see you and then uh, or di ba, dala na ka sa doctor dapat kay mm -hmm. you are not in control naman. Mm -hmm. You are not in control. And uh, it can be uh, seen in symptoms. Mm -hmm. Na makita, di ba, katong seizures or uncontrollable hypertension, di ba? Oh, mata. <laughs> may stroke na ka, o niya yung mata, red na ka, ayun niya. Niya, di na kabukaon, di ba? Mauna siya ng mga symptoms na. Mm -hmm. It's a reason why na isa po na dapat i-refer na siya sa medical professional dahil dapat sa mga uh, dealing with addiction. Okay. That's so, in the drugs, ha? Pero ka ng mga video games, mm -hmm. counseling na na siya. Counseling. Extreme cases na nang mag-drug na ta, ka ng mga drug na tayo drug ihatag eh, para makontrol ang urge. Mm -hmm. Amen. Ingun si lovely Doc, um, agree gudaw siya, no? Decided and willingness daw to stop nga aware nga dili imaayo yung mong ginabuhat. Mm -hmm. Okay, good thing. Which is true. So, karon since ato namang nga, uh, um, na present na ni Doc no about um, substance abuse and atong online gaming po, which is new good po na kind of oh, addiction okay. it's because karon na mga panahon daghan na tagi ka adikan sa maadik sa yo ah with sa charla joke na toto no ana so kanang daghan na gyud mm -hmm. forms of addiction. addiction and let's be real about it it's true dili na to i deny matod mm -hmm. pa ni Doc dili na to dapat i deny guys nga we are getting addicted to especially if we're aware mm -hmm. about our choices. And we have to make conversations. And yes. Kaya di lang kay, mm -hmm. Dapat mo reach out po, di ba? Yes, no. that's true. Because, um, ana sila, no man is an island. Correct. And an island cannot grow mm -hmm. by itself. Ayan. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> um, correct. Ayan, ladies and gentlemen, we are done with the first segment for today's, um, yes. ato, for today's episode, <laughs> for today's event, <laughs> for today's episode. <laughs> and, when we come back, of course, of course, we'll be talking about lifestyle, alternatives, and of course, prevention uh, yes. and awareness. Right? Mm -mm. We will be having Doc uh, bring us later on um, on our third segment. So um, while we are going on a break, um, huna huna na mo dan sa inyo mga questions, and we will <laughs> brainstorm welcome. Na yeah, brainstorm. Okay, mubalik pa ni sila, and we can ask more questions that we are kind of curious about. Kaya ako daghan pa po ko questions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ikaw raw daghan mga questions. Daghan questions. Or later, <laughs> naging siguro yes. no, if so, mahumanag, mm, if hapit so, na sa point. Correct. So, we'll be back, and I hope you stay, stay comfortable. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. And while you're at it, please roll video. 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 <laughs>
And we're back, yes. So earlier, <laughs> and ang mga kasunshine, no? uh, we learned from Dr. Bingas that you know, uh, at high doses of um, um, high substance. doses of substance could actually lead, no, to health, health and social problems. Yes, or, or like, ang gigon point po dito kaya nung self realization. Oh, need po na to na, mm -hmm. oh, which is very hard to Correct. achieve. Mm -hmm. Which is why maglead na siya sa atong next topic for. Correct. And grabe, first gap palang gali no, we learned so many things. So um, apart from what was discussed recently, to give us a talk on health and wellness, lifestyle diseases, awareness and prevention, our next resource speaker is currently an active pediatric consultant in EROM Maternity Hospital, Butuan Doctors Hospital and Caraga Regional Hospital, and is a director of the FSCU Medical Dental Clinic. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Anna Marie Gabus. Good morning, ma'am. Hello, my buntag sa tanan. Good morning Ayan. sa inyong duha, Gerald and Anne. Ayan. And so, padayo na tano sa ikaduhang part sa atong talk. So, unsaon man na ito pagkabalo na ang usa ka tao is already addicted, no? So, what are the signs of addiction? So, we based our, uh, how we detect an addict with this DSM criteria. So, if any of the two, two or more of the following signs are noted in a person for the past 12 months, so, one of these is spending more time in activities to obtain the substances. So meaning, kanang mangita yung kagway nga ma-acquire to ni mo ang usa ka substance kung asa ka addicted. And tried many times but failed to cut down or control substance use. So naglisod na yun. Mo yun kag, ay mo stop na yun kung panigarilyo ka ron. Tapos pagka-ugma, uy, balik man lagi. Asunod na po ugma. So ana siya, no? Having a strong desire or craving for the substance use. Mura bitaw, gihimo na ni mo siyang part sa imong kinabuhi nga. Uy, pag human ako kaon, mura gluod man. Kailangan ko manigarilyo. So, muna siya. Difficulty in fulfilling major obligations at home, work, or school. So, malate na ka sa deadlines sa imong assessments. Isa na siya. No? Social, recreational, and occupational activities are already neglected. So, kung dati, part ka sa isa ka group, like uh, singles for Christ, tapos later na wala na bitaw ka nagsigi, attend ana, or nag-join ana nga biking group, then isa na na siya. Continue use of substance despite how they have contributed to personal or social problems. So, muna siyang giingon, aware ka, and yet, Gagamit gihapong ka, aware ka nga nakadaot na siya sa imong personal life. And yet, gapangita ka, gakrave gihapong ka. And then, repeatedly using substance in dangerous situations. So, like, kana, ga drive ka, tapos high ka sa alcohol. And then, you know nga, kung naka-alcohol ka, possibly good nga ma-accidente. Develop a tolerance to substances. So, mone ni siyang giingon kanina ni Dr. Bringas nga, Kaya ng need na yung ka o mas higher dose to achieve such effect sa usa ka substance. Kay kung at a lower dose pa lang, dati okay na ka, euphoric na ka, high na imo paminaw. At this point in time, kailangan na ka, kung dati 25% lang, kailangan na kakarog 50 or 75%. And then experience withdrawal symptoms. So, uh, example for this is that kung... Dili ka makainom og alcohol na ingani uban tao nga murag magkurog murag uy kailangan yung og alcohol kulang siya murag gakurog or kanang mo try og stop og kanang smoke and then murag uh, most common is the hand tremors mm -hmm. so yun okay next so how does addiction happen so asa man gyud ni nagsugod ang tanan no so we go back to the lifestyle balance model. So it is how lifestyle is how a person lives. It is the key ingredient of his health and well-being. So depende sa lifestyle nga imuhang gina buhat kumbaga sa imong kaugalingon, no? And in this study by Davis et al, it shows that uh, any disparity aning 
um, lifestyle balance model would perpetuate somebody to use a substance. Ayan. So, next. Now, let's go back to the lifestyle of a teenager. Okay? Most of our audience are students, di ba? So, basically, the lifestyle of a teenager, it entails relationship with your family, uh, relationship sa school, relationship sa community. And then, your school performance, your achievements in the school, your way of coping stress, and then your mental health, finances, as well as self-image. So, next. So, sa usa ka teenager, uh, sa teenager nga life, there is what we call, kanina point, we had this identity crisis. No? So, ang teenager bombarded with all the stress, sa grades, sa exams, schedules, deadlines, assignments, even sa friends. Kay sometimes, ang usa ka teenager, may ngun kag, uy, murag, wala man ko na belong sa isa ka group of friends need pud nila ani ang belongingness and then ang uban pud ani would experience bullying so with all the stresses tapos ang iyang coping mechanism sa iyang uh, paghandle sa hurdles and challenges in life kung mismo siya there are some uh, person nga hinay gyud bitaw sila coping mechanism so next um, this would lead to yan, the following, per pressure, uh, mental disorder, stress, or even a uh, family history of abuse. This could perpetuate them to use a substance. Kay, for example, mismo sa relationship sa family sa isa ka person kung na ay mismo internal problem. For example of this, busy ang parents, pangitagwarta, negosyo, ano ano. And then, ang parents mismo nila, ah, nagkaroon sila ng crisis in themselves. Nabakay ay problem sa work nila or even separation sa family. Makita po sa person or sa anak nga sigira o um, away within the family. So, it would add up to the ilahang personal identity crisis and then sa stress pa nila sa home. And then, I, uh, some of them would want to reach out sa ilang family and then yet busy bitaw ilang parents so murag dili pud sila maatiman so parents nila mapabayaan pud wala nang kamustahan kung baga sa ilang family so in that case murag mangita gyud ang next mangita gyud ang isa ka person nga mobelong siya to a certain group nga magkuan siya uh, a friend or someone to talk to. So, at this point in time, um, he came up with a friend, circle of friends nga perminti ba kita niya happy gulaki lang. They continue going out late at nights and then um, uh, he will be uh, murag mainganyo siya to try some substances like um, alcohol, Party smoke, drugs. <laughs> And even, yes, party, party drugs. drugs. Yes, yeah. so at the, this point in time sa yung life, so try siya, no? Mm -hmm. And then, as mentioned kanina, there are effects nga, hi, lami ang paminaw sa imong self with that drug, with that alcohol. Murag, temporary satisfaction. Mm -hmm. Ana siya. It is how these substances would react to your body. So, muna siya, makahatag siya, temporary belongingness, um, high ang self-esteem, ang image sa usaka person. It's a, actually a combination of chemical reactions as well as mental and social. Okay, ma, ma sense man nila ang belongingness. So, so eventually, with that, with the continued stress, um, um, continued use, eventually, morag unaware na ang isaka person. Nga, gina crave na din niya, morag, it's not um, enough to go day by day without that substance. So, it would bring more and more injury to the brain of a person with all the chemical interactions and then it would um, help them make or it would make the situation worse. So, murag, kumbaga, loop na siya and that person would become less and less aware. And then, the cravings would continue to increase on, and that is what we call 
this time addiction and it would lead to jail and or even death yes so addiction would lead to broken families, broken promises. Oh my God! And then even broken hearts. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not okay. But anyway, there are actually there are other reasons. And yes. naman said, okay, next. So how do we treat an addict? Uh, it is not enough to give just a medication for that. We have to treat that person as a whole, the mind, the body the spirit or the soul so this is a step-by-step -step, uh, treatment approach the holistic approach so dili lang siya kay it involve a certain person or kana mismo but actually it all would also involve the family the family as well as the community kung asa siya na belong so first is detoxification and tama si Dr. Bringas nga dapat you should be aware nga dili na na mao ang imuhang ginabuhat no um, and then rehabilitation. So worst comes to worst, kailangan na sila isulod og rehab. Mm -hmm. And then pharmacotherapy. So within that rehab, we do have pharma uh, giving medical treatment, and then of course behavior therapy, counseling. Um, uh, yes, I admit, dili siya kaya nga enough nga. Uy, ako ang self. Kailangan stop mm -hmm. siya. Kailangan yung gag help. Oh yes, counseling yun na siya. And as I, oh, yun, self help or peer support groups. And then vocational services. What do we mean by this one? Murag i, i, i ano sila, tudluan sila og mga means of livelihood, sa rehab. And, and uh, it is a preparation on how they're going to reintegrate back to the community. And then, of course, the spiritual help. Ayan. Next. So, how do we prevent addiction? Practice saying no. Ah, no? Sure. No. Kabalo na ta, we've learned in this episode or even sa mga online or sa books na to, mabasa gita. Nga, it's really hard once addicted na ka. So, better, ayaw na lang sulod. Practice saying no. Avoid peers who use drugs. So, pili o ni mo imong mga friends. Ayaw to, especially itong mga friends nga, sige sa MOPS, na pa bang MOPS ka rin? Grabe, MOPS na pa rin ako. Murag sikat. Anyway, find a positive role model. No? So, mangita ka, someone nga, i-look up into and then, imo siyang i-make an example to yourself in order for you to achieve, na kay motivation to achieve your goal. Learn about drugs from reliable sources. So, Grabe na kayo ang internet karon so kailangan gyud mamili mo og sakto nga sources of information. True. True. Lear, uh, find healthy ways to have fun. So mga basig gusto ninyo mag-attend og dance class o kaya uh, go with biking group. Yes. And for parents, practice what you preach. So isa sa reason also nga nung mahukpod sa addiction or it will perpetuate to substance use sa mga teenager. It's because one of the members also are doing that. Members of the family. So, um, you practice, yes, practice nga, uh, you educate your kids nga, kani substance use is really, um, uh, it would destroy your life. But then again, dili po mo ipakita nga, I mean, Dili po ka, you should be a role model sa imuhang kids. So, kung bad ang nicotine or uh, smoking, syempre, dili yun po ka mag-smoke na. Talk early and often about drugs. And then, build trust and open communication. Say hi, hello every now and then, especially during eating or dinner time sa sa atong family. Kamusta ha po na inyuhang mga anak? O, kumusta naman? Um, you support your kids. Gusto nila mag kung imong gusto mahimong doctor imong anak and yet imong anak gusto niya mahimong engineer. Ayo taon sila pugsa. No? True preach. Dapat preach. suportaan ninyo nga siya kay later on man god it would add up again to their stress nga murag kapoy man wala sila motivation to do that is because dili man na nila gusto. Dili man na mao ilang like. So be supportive. Get to know your kids child's friends and their parents and then promote a healthy activity within the family mm -hmm. ayan and so prevention is the best treatment true 
no? Stay busy. Uh, mga plantito, plantita, diha. Kana. Okay na siya na activity. Exercise to relieve stress. You do yoga, self meditation, or go with biking. But again, you have to select your group of friends. True. Use your support system. In our case, we do have FSU Help Hotline. Yes. So for the students, kung naamoy mo kalibgan or mga medyo stressed up na mo in coping with your studies, you call FSU Help Hotline. And avoid stress. Pero di magyud na to ma-avoid ang stress, no? So kinahanglan lang yun. You balance your time. Give time to yourself. And then end toxic relationships. Okay, bye, no? So kung ayaw na ni mo, sige ayaw. Dili na ako magpaka-stress sa imo. True. Maka-relate? Wala, wala, wala. Okay. Practice positive self-talk. Meaning, kaya na ko, di ba? O kaya niya. Anong di man ako kaya? Invest in others. Invest in your good friends and good friends. Learn financial management. Amen. And then, eliminate triggers. So, meaning, dili na ka. Kay kabalumang ka, kaninga area sa Butuan City, possible ni siya. So, ayun na lang, add to add to dito. So, say no to drugs and other substances. It will just end up all your dreams. Drugs and all dreams. Okay. Well, Gabi. I hope you guys learned a lot. That was very fruitful, and yeah, and for me, kadang mura enlightening siya, bakay aside sa like talking about addiction, we're also talking about why, de ba? Why? Kaya of course, like gingo ni Doctor Bringas, dili tada pat judgmental because there are underlying reasons why people do it. So like na kay gingo ni kagay na doc na like for example ma ma-impede na ang uh, totoong imong self-awareness mm -hmm. ang atong paghuman mm -hmm. pero dili na nimo mapunga ni mo self oh. yes. aside sa substance abuse unsa on nato na siya sa mga tao para sa gingon ni Dr. Bringa sa online games or mm -hmm. sa kaning ato ang social media nagi times doc na mag-ana na lang jud bitaw ka entire time and then mm -hmm. you do not know na nagdaga na dayang ora super fast mm -hmm. so kana siya Okay. It also gives us a high sense of belongingness, de ba niyo? Na kana mo rag pag magduwa ka online games, mo rag feeling mo I belong to this community. If na ka sa social media, you belong to. Yes, it can also be true. Actually, mo na siya mo rag ang ang trigger kung bagad ha ganong maadik po dyan isa ka person. It's because he or she himself wants to belong to a particular group or kanisya murag na siya ay kulang sa iyang life and then diri ni siya mo ni siya ang makapa kompleto kumbaga sa puzzle sa iyang life no so ingana na siya at that time I know kaninga particular period na hook na yung ka just give your time take note of this one na Murag, i butang lang sa ni mo ang imong cellphone. Butang lang sa diha for a moment and then you stand up. Mm -hmm. Para para mawala po ka sa imong realms ana nga uh, reality or not real world rather mm -hmm. nga para maka look back ka o maka nakag uy, murag unsa na maday urasa no? Mm -hmm. So napakoy mga assignments and the best thing to do that actually para gid ko an is tama si doc, time management. Yeah. You do journal You uh, you you do kanang money siya na orasa money ang ako ang buhaton Schedules, for that particular yeah. day mm -hmm. and then don't deprive yourself of course of social media pero you have to set limits yes. to yourself. Mm -hmm. Kay na question din here from Pueblos from mm -hmm. Irene Ciara siya nga. What about cases that find uh, people find comfort on video games but are still addicted? So kibali mo rag um ang atong reason kibali dere is din ha daw kuno nila ma find ang comfort. Oh, uh, oh, so how do we yes, help that? Ali, kanang that mind. How do we help that mindset? So again, kung kana siya, yes that's true kay na magi as mentioned kanina mo rag na kay gustong ikompleto sa imong self nga mm -hmm kuha ra ni mo anang video games or unsa ana again we have to go back sa atong kaugalingon asa man ta karon na stage unsa man dapat ang atong buhaton sa atong self unsa man ta student ta worker ta so kung student ta unsa may mga kinahanglano nato uh, or mga assignments or exams so again you set time tagaan ni mog time for your um, kailangan buhaton In a particular day, and then you also give free time for yourself, Anna. 
And then you have to take note also nga murag you look yourself in the mirror kung unsa naman physically na hago ba ko kay nana ko eye bags no. So then you think back nga nung nagka eye bags naman ko nga murag gwapo man ko sa una wala man ko ingahan ni no. So <laughs> self image be positive. Ay tungod day to kay nagdula kog video games ni Abdan kog alas dos sa kadlawon. So think back Tanawa ni mo imong kaugalingon sa mirror. It's not ang kagwapo ra ni mo o kagwapa ang imong makita. Go beyond that yes, image for yourself. On. So, Ta di ba kay mm. tungod man po siya sa stress lagi kay mo nang mangitag mm. comfort like mm. para sa nagstorya may actually gahapon nagpractice me doc and <laughs> na storyahan <laughs> na mo yourself. with Ma'am Suzette na it's a form of escape man good pod so oh, di ba mo to. Yes. So, kay na stress man me so um nay nag-ask din hi ana si um Jocelyn nga ma'am how do you cope up with your stress? Basin maka-help ni siya ba sa atong nagtan-aw. Ikaw doc like personally how do you cope yes, up with it as, as a doctor <laughs> as a physician? Oo, oh, oh, tama mm. gyud na siya uh, there are uh, sa Yes, sa ako as a personal experience na ako, no, I do more tulo ka jobs in a day. Yes, I have clinic tapos na pay Oreos and then na apa Sorry ko, dok, sorry. <laughs> Wait out. Pero anyway, ani man good na siya, murag ang ang ako man good pud sa akong kaugalingon, ang akong self satisfaction for myself nga murag at the end of the day, oy okay ang ako ang day. It's because na fulfill na ko ang mga kailangang buhaton for that particular day. And then ang happiness na makita na ko, gabi na kay ka stress, na stress ko sa case o sa ka person or ako bata man akong specialty, na stress ko kay grabe na ka toxic. Toxic meaning toxic ang pasyente, grabe iyang sakit and then na stress ko unsaon man gyud ni nako. Na Pero at the end of the day, ang satisfaction nga makuha nimo kay nag thank you ang parents sa bata, naging okay ang bata at the end of the day, napauli ni mo siya. So kana mismo murag makaparelieve na siya sa akong stress. So una una na ko nga ah, kani maski unsa ka dako na stress, this will to shall pass. So yes. And then ang pinaka the best good actually by experience nga ako ang nakuan on how to deal with stress is to pray. Kada bitang puno na kay ka and then naka ko ana ka nga murag kapoy na gyud kay siya. Just pray. Take time for yourself and talk to God. Amen. Tinod na. Pero it's like giingon ni Doc, there's also a sense of high in achieving your to-do list. Good boy. No, the balik. And I hope that's a good thing. Kaya pag mahuman ko ani pag nakahuman kay kog lima ka assessment kung dindot kay akong feeling. Ay, ana. Achievement mo gyud siya. Nay in ana man good boy. Nay true. Nay draining pero kani pag napoy feeling na oy nakahuman ko. Pero pwede pud baya nato na siya i-divert bas kanang mo na to attention karon, di ba? Yes, tama. Sakto na siya kay kana bitaw paghuman nimo sa imong ang sana assessment uh, ninyo ma answer ni mo murag yes na na koy time mag social media sa ko okay, kay na human man kay okay, na human na yeah oh, so murag sort of reward na lang yes, tayo yes ana siya think of it as a reward ayaw nga ingon padugay gid mm -hmm. siya yeah so di ba like kung atong i wrap up in our head ang giingon ni doc karon lifestyle actually affects no our yes. choices our mm -hmm. decisions True. and Nindot kayo pa pamalandungon nga karon atong gi-understand na. Yeah. Kay sometimes namo kayo ba na dili ka-understand kay bisan ako sa una judgmental kay ko on like mark ah adi. Pero gid mara pud nato sa yeah. society yeah. and Pero sometimes it's not really a choice panagsa, panagsa yes. it's not really a choice. Mm -hmm. And sometimes kay mo lagi escape lang. Yeah, makaingon nga choice na nila no, they have to do it to save themselves and then ni adto lang gyud na wrong turn. Mm -hmm. So, that was very fruitful. It's um yes. Actually, na ako an komo ako na nagaan, na Yeah, and <laughs> kanang it's something that I needed to hear said po. And, and you know, once again, we're creating a safe space. I hope kamo said, no, you learned something from that talk because we will be back for yet another segment. Nga kauban na nato atong doha ka doki this morning. Ayan, Gerald. So, would you like back, to? <laughs> kauban nato si Doctor Bingas and Doctor Gamos also. Yes. So, so stay tuned lang with I will be right back.
We are back. We are back. And me. Yes. yes. So far, the conversation has been going really well. No, we better understood substance and it's, their effects. It's also engaging with I know. Yes, and naka understand sabta why people engage in substance yeah. use and why they get addicted to kanang behavioral sub na aspect. Okay. So, karon guys, atong kauban usob si Doktora Ann and si Doktor Brigas. Ayan. Hi. Hi. Well, shout out sa mga viewers. <laughs> shout, out sa mga, <laughs> shout out sa mga viewers ana. So, of course, gibalik mo na mo day karon mga doki because napatay mga questions, questions na coming from our viewers yes, also. Yes, nga kanang can be answered by the both of you. So, let's just take turns. Pwede mauna si Dr. Bringas and then okay. Dr. Ann. Okay. So, karon si Father Alner left a comment kaganihan siya nga. Ug dili masabtan sa mga judgmental. Ngano mo ingon tag dili mo judge sa addict because they saw them as evil incarnate that the only solution is to kill them, especially substance kuno na addiction. Are they really a hopeless case that a good drug addict is a dead drug addict? Or can we do something especially sa inyo na sa as physicians? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, or is there always kanang chance na maka-help Yes, uh, as uh, tama na siya. Kung kadang mga hopeless case, actually, makaya pa mang yung gihapon sila. Uh, motos silang isulod na silang special community. That's what we call rehab. Mm -hmm. Kay dito sa rehab, we do holistic approach. Mm -hmm. So, ikuan sila. Kanya mag uban ani nila, murag mawala na sa ilang self. So, kana siya is one of the indication why do we give uh, medical treatment. Mm -hmm. Kana bitang mm -hmm. maka-hurt na sila sa others. So, kanang ang ilang family, especially ang ilahang uh, own family, ilan ang mapasakitan. So, it's really one of the indication why we have to admit the addict to the rehab. And then, sa rehab, dito, uh, the term itself, i-rehab na sila, meaning stay away sila from that particular substance. And then, ihinay-hinay, it would take time, years actually, para yun siya mabalik sa koan. So, aside from um, putting them into rehab, so mawala sila sa ilang uh, substance use, so, dito, kay di man pwede nga maghatag-tag medical treatment kung ang mismong substance, uh, kaya pa nila i-reach out bitaw. So, more, it would add up um, mas na eye complications siya, especially sa lawas. So, muna isulod sila sa rehab and then, dito na siya tanan, tuluan sila, hinahinayan sila o ang um, kanang say other term rehab or hinahinayan sila treat cleanse oh, oh okay. detox yes detox <laughs> detoxify <laughs> yes ana ayan so doc speaking of rehab ko no i From think it, oh, i think si doc brigas na she gave mention na they rehab oh, they are so but one mm -hmm. or a any place, other oh. places nga dool those who yes. need an extra hand actually there's a uh, center uh, in surigao mm -hmm. we can refer them uh, there tapos uh, the rehab services can be done there also mm -hmm. and uh, it should be done uh, confidentially. Kay Murag, na mo stigma na develop yeah. ana. Kay Murag, mm -hmm. in the family yes. ana. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I was exposed to the, the place. I was there and, and, and I, I see their facilities. And then uh, the only thing is, uh, na, na ito yung number ni Bilin. Anyway, uh, I have a point person to refer mm -hmm. in which I would uh, give it to the clinic if ever na at a case there, no? Yes. So, pwede tamo reach uh, out kang Dr. Bringas. Mm, no, sige, uh, sige. Yeah. And, Doc, um... May question from also Princess Doc <laughs> nga, um, ang addiction is inherited ba daw? Yeah. Like what you... Yes, said. actually. Like I said, uh, addiction is a multifactorial problem, no? More of genetics, mm -hmm. environment, and from the person itself, di ba? Himself. Uh, kanang exposure nato sa itong mga palibot, ana. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you could say, uh, in, uh, in totality, manggun na siya. The total person ang tanawan ni mo kay in evaluating ng addict po, you have to say, see the other side of his story. Kaya naman kuy, something wrong, na problem, mm -hmm. na nag-insight, ano nga problem, ano gali. So, muna siya, tapos, uh, I may uh, getting away from the question. No, no. <laughs> diba? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. more of one, kanang more of uh, it's multifactorial, man good siya. Mm. Could say, you cannot implicate one factor and then emphasize on managing, managing that one. You have to manage the entirety, mm. the whole law. Mm -hmm. Diba? Yes. Um, uh, some of the studies, yes, genetic shop, pero ang pinaka main yun, if we talk about inheritance, it's actually the family 
kung asa na belong ang that particular person. person yeah. Ayang exposure kay kung dako gyud ang chances kung ang one of the family members kay addict pod siya. Mm -hmm. So taas gyud siya og chances na mauna ang reason why nganong kana pod na other member of the family mm -hmm. naging Do addict pod siya. Mm -hmm. Do ko so um how severe daw the detachment of reality of a substance abuser. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, kunsa sila kalala oh, bitaw makubukin ta hay sa reality. Oh, like a viewpoint mm -hmm. siguro. Depende sa oh, um, sa grabe dose. Ang um, yes, dose. ang dose, mm -hmm. ang gidaghanon mm -hmm. sa kuan sa substance nga gigamit as well as depende kung unsa ang substance nga gigamit nila. Kay uh, a particular as mentioned ni Dr. Kanina nga lahi-lahi ang effect oh, oh. sa substance. So depende na siya. Pero the higher the dose, the more lala Yun, or the higher the intake of that substance, the more lala ang iyang effect. Uh -oh. What are the causes and consequences of teen, ab of teen, uh, of of teen, teen substance, substance abuse? abuse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ano okay, man, sir? Yes, no, <laughs> no di, uh, di ba, depende kung sa age na ito ma-affected ang mga drugs and everything, di ba? So, the more severe ang teen, kay more earlier development pa ng brain. Mm -hmm. So, that's the crucial part. Kay your mm -hmm. brain is still de de developing and then, Kung nai something or insult na nabuhat sa imong brain, anong nga stage, uh, severe na kayo pag sa adulthood ni mo. Mm -hmm. More so kung uh, early ka nag-start sa imong addiction mm -hmm. uh, than compared to late na ka. So, yes. mo na siya. Mas dako yung damage. So, mas dako ang damage. Oh. Yes, the damage, mas kuan siya, aside from the physical or mm -hmm. damage sa body, sa imong life mismo. Uh -huh. Kaya syempre kung teenager pa ka, napaka sa stage nga, eskwela pa ka. Mm, so, Kung addicted na ka ana and then wala ka nakagawas, dili na ka makaabot sa imong goal nga ah gusto ko magkasakyanan later on in life, gusto ko naibalay. Mo ni ako mga goals in life. Mm -hmm. Kung ani pa ka na stage as a teenager pa lang, wala na naputol na kumbaga imong dreams and ambitions or goals in life. As compared kung adult na ka. Pero I'm not saying na encourage na ako ang adult po <laughs> ha. Oh, yes, so, gamit yes, case no. because nakasakyan na, na oh, sila nakabalay. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. It's actually the same. Bottom line, bottom line ani tanan is the same. Once you're an addict, maguba gyud kung asa naman ka nga stage karon, maguba gyud imong life. Mm -hmm. Ayan. So, natay isa ka question. Oh, so, mm -hmm. To follow up lang po do katong sa gingan ni Mol Gaina ba. So, natay question diri, do people who are under a substance abuse prone to neurological impairments? Okay. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, tama, tama. It can cause, uh, kung nakay uh, underlying condition or nakay prone mm -hmm. prone to that condition, mo, mo aggravate siya pa doon dito kay. There's also uh, neurological damage mm -hmm. in using substances. Mm -hmm. no? So, ma-developer so, din ang schizophrenia? That could also be the case kung nakay kuan, mm -hmm. kung ang kitay, yes. ang, mm -hmm. uh, ang behavior ni mo na pa doon ana, mm -hmm. is schizophrenic okay. mo na. Gigan anang pag use drug, it could, it could happen. Kay, mm -hmm. siyempre, it's altering the brain mo chemistry. Mm -hmm. Kay, in the, in a schizophrenic na may alteration of brain chemistry po. Mm -hmm. Grabe, mm -hmm. Julie, ang impact sa substances, no? Kaya, marag, dili lang sa atong makita, like, sa makita mo, mm -hmm. marag, violence, may nana. So, mm -hmm. napad yung deeper nga ka ng impact ah. niya. Yeah. And so, napay isa nga question. If all forms of rehabilitation has become ineffective, what course of action should the victim take. Murag That's na hadlo ko sa super dead end. Murag na hadlo ko sa Like for example, um, not ko na si Baron, ba, like muna jud among ma-think. Murag seven times siya nag-rehab. Pero thank God today, nana siya ay kanang like legit na naka-move forward na ganyan mm. sa life. Kanang yun, Ana. Na-enlighten na siya. Doc, kung saan man na, na to, like do we just continue to send them mm. to rehab? Yes, as often as you have to. Kay, ang kuwan mong good, ani mong good. Kay, the willingness to be cured mong good is mm -hmm. the one that matters. Kay, sometimes mong good, napay problem na wapan na solve. Mm -hmm. Or napaghihapon ang stimulus diha na nakakosa yung problem. Yes, true. Na every time mo go home siya, na siya problematic okay. family. Ano ba? Mm -hmm. So, muna siya. So, again, it depends on the person. Ah, so, I think we're also asking the wrong question. Basin, um, unsa pa eh, reason, nga nung nibalik siya, mm. di ba? Yeah. Di ba doon? Ah, oh. Mm. oh, there has to be a reason oh, somewhere. Yeah. Oh, okay, pwede man na, ang rehab, guwapo kay programs, and yet, pagawas niya, nagyapon ang uh, inciting event, nagyapon. Oh, nagyapon oh, siya. Oh, na. So, na muna, tama yun, depende yun mm. po sa self, ang willingness to be cured. Mm -hmm. Yes, and, 
also the environment the willingness to help also yes, diba? Okay. So, okay. we also have that responsibility not that it's ours good yes. but the responsibility to be there for those people oh, oh. actually okay. ang mga friends pud nila kay murag sometimes kana tama kay murag na ana gyud ay stigma nga ah ing ani na siya kana kung if you're a friend of an addict ayo pud siya i tama yeah, lagi outcast. mo lagi no outcast ana mm, outcast kanang try to help gyud pud if you really a real friend ana adumdum ko sa a star is born ni Lady Gaga what <laughs> happened to his husband ba na oh. bis kay ni recover na siya after gi ina siya na ikaw so nga nung nagguba iyang life kitungod ni man adat mm. wala no siya ka recover anyway that's so sad i'm just gonna <laughs> add another question here from EJ Morales if a person loves to sleep and does sleep most of the time like at least 12 12 hours a day is that considered as an addiction like addiction of sleeping Hello. or lagi na ni siya na problem 12 hours a day uh, 12 hours down two times a day so mag tug lang siya 24 hours <laughs> betaw kan ako lang to kanang murag if sige na dako na siya katog addiction ba dana ko na siya addiction ba dako no ang matulog pero feel na ko na ni siya underlying sige balik data sa definition sa addiction ba kan Murabag, it is a something that is uh, have or something that you're doing more often and then pag ido na nimo overdo it something other that uh, in your other things in your life are affected for example in work in school grade so yes. diba? of course no we have to be concerned for those sleeping for no is it an addiction Siguro you you will try also to ask yourself nganong ganahan mo gyud gumatulog og 12 oh, yeah, oh, so hours a day is is it because i'm skipping na. with a particular stressor mm-hmm. i'm skipping with assessments mm-hmm. or or unsa ana ba yeah. and you have or also to think sugar It's also a serious problem po. You never know ba sin grabe day, basta nag-depression na siya. That could be a symptom also of something else. You have to be, so ang kuha na nga ng individual is to be evaluated medically po. Kaya ba sinay condition po na nakakausa ng oversleeping. Oo, tama. Bitaw, tinuod yun po. No? Yan, so... Any questions by Yes, basically, napay questions ang at our mga viewers. Uh, yes. Please drop your questions because it will be entertained. Napa there and Yes, ano siya? Oy, what should we do po if the addicted person is persistent with denying, 'di ba? Niyan kag gaina do, denying whatever help is offered to him, kay mo willingness. Like di jud siya magpa-admit for rehab. Do we have to force him? Pwede ba daw na? Or do we just let them be? since he f- he's firm with his decision on sa mandaw atong mabuhat ana pag denial gyud sila sa help na naa kay di ba dili naman na wala na may willingness mm-hmm. that's a problem mm-hmm. uh, i think mm-hmm. kana siya need na siya og uh, psychological counseling and guidance kay um siya mismo sa yang self naga na Uh, nai ka ng professional ana professional help nga pwede na to sila i-refer kay kay para ma-evaluate fa- further nga nung ing animan iyang attitude mm-hmm. um, so basig na ay certain point na kailangan i i, i- intervene ana mm-hmm. na part sa isa ka person kay kani kay pwede man good siya nga wala nakita sa usa ka doctor pero nakita sa usa ka psychologist mm-hmm. or psychiatrist Okay. Lahi-lahi man tag specialization in life. So, pwede sa sa yang friend or sa yang teacher or sa common na guidance counselor sa school basi wala na kita pero na ay nakita sa a professional help na kailangan diri ta mo focus naman. Okay, it's because ang willingness mismo sa tao wala na. So, kana siya mo ra kailangan na gyud siya kanang professional help. Yeah. So, doc, in in the Philippines doc, um, how is addiction being treated? Like in general, mm-hmm. in general sense. Uh, okay. Uh, I cannot uh, have my own conclusions regarding that. No, okay. Ang kwan mga nakong tanaw is more of punitive ni sila kasagaran, and then uh, sadly, uh, some programs are that in place. But however, they deal it drastically. Like as you can hear, di ba katong mga killings, di ba? It's very sensitive, sensitive matter. I cannot uh, divulge anything about that. But anyway, uh, I can see it's more punitive sa atong apart sa Philippines ng program. Although there's already a program set up na nada na kahan ay tanan ng programs, 
and yet there, we can hear stories na na ay mga na ani na na so so in so doing uh, siguro governance na siguro kana moro bang yeah. i strictly follow what is supposed to be followed mm -hmm. kay ang ban moro mo they put the law into their own hands and agali kay simply because this person is uh, of significant rank in the society and agali hindi mm -hmm. hindi na madalag rehab kay simply siya siya he's in power ana bang ang klasing ang mga kwan so ana mo na kasagaran is more of punitive and then what to do is strictly follow the programs that are implemented by the government mm -hmm. in dealing with this sort of addiction. Mm -hmm. That's beyond mm -hmm. region. Like, mm -hmm. It's like beyond this na lang na... na beyond our campus, yeah, it's the like, government yeah, itself. Yeah, like, oh. yes. kung may kag addiction, like, dili na siya ka na lang. Dili, like, it's not a case-to-case -case basis mm -hmm. na. Yeah, it's a community, it's oh, a collective yeah. effort na dyan. Yes, collective effort kay tungod si, because it's very severe na gid. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's something. Mugan ni nakada tu ig nagin tay mga pa sports activity para malayo sa. Kada mga indoor and outdoor activities kan na very helpful kud no. And sa pagkakaroon, yes, alert level one naman. So most likely we can do some of those activities. Ayan. Mo na tay gi encourage beta ni dok ay na mag biking. Ga bike ka dok. Before. <laughs> Ikaw, Dok, na bike ka, Dok. Really? Ako yun, okay. magod si Dok, gaya na ako yung magbiking. Pero makita, lang. magod na ako. Ang hard. <laughs> Pero it's more of exercise. Mm -hmm. Volleyball lang. Medicate. Uh, Ayan. So, yoga. Gusto, kabalo ko na nagpalayo na ta sa atong topic na, pero naisang mm -hmm. ka-question dari nga, kanang na-curious said ko, gikan kang Theresa Daniel, does someone ba daw na nag-experience og addiction feel ecstasy but depression at the same time? Mm -mm. Kanang work side effect okay. versus substance? Oh, oh. You can, uh, that can happen. Ecstasy, tapos kung ma- That's the reason why na magbalik na pagka ecstasy, mm. di ba? That depression siguro is the one, the reason why na nag- Start sa- Start sa drug in the mm. first place. Yeah. No. So, mana? Mm. That's the answer. It, you ca it, it, it can happen at the same, uh, at the same person or at the same time. Kay Maral, Baka also, uh, ang uh, particular drug or substance nga gigamit niya makahatag o kanang- Uh, high sa iyang mm. kaugalingon. And then, pagka win off na sa substance, dito na siya kay oh, ang the down very f uh, reason why nga nung nangyong siya, Anna, it's because down na kay siya sa self. And then, okay na, high na. Mm. And then, win off ang substance. Mm. Balik na po Walang siya sa iyang depression. So, mubalik na po siya o grave. Kay, because gusto niya high siya po. Ayan. So, is, pwede yun. Oh. It can occur both ways. Oh, katong gay na itong na-mention na ito ba na there's a sense of high and finishing mm -hmm. off tasks. Mupadong na pa po dayon ta ni sana ade pagka workaholic na ma wrong na po dayon ta uh, no no sige ani magod kay ang dami societies in in the US na uh, psychiatric societies na ginaklasify na siya as na it's not considered an addiction daw ang work mm. oh uh, ona siya debunked kay <laughs> mo one man siya kanang na it's it's a matter of just diagnostic criteria uh -oh. galing following the standard man mm -hmm. in, in classifying so Working too much or being a workaholic is not an addiction. Oh, de ba? So nindot jud po guys ng like for example na addict na ko ane niya, may tag a addict na siya. Sakto po dok no, kailangan nato yung identify na addict kay para ma define jud po na siya. Okay. So kung five assessments ka in a day, karon ten na. Oh, ayoko ba ingon sa doctor bringas din na siya addiction. Ayoko ba laka? Kanang sa life and skills mo, humano na ako na yung kabi itan. Isahon na ka. Isahon ako na kasi na wala. Amazing lang dyan, no, nga ka lang, at least kay bawat punta sa boundaries, kung kanos arata mo yun, nga addict na siya, nga, dili day ba? Kay Premier na magkita nga addict siya, without knowing, understanding the eyes. Oo, ano, so, amazing po nga, at least we learn something new every day, especially about how real the problem is getting dyan. So, before ta mag-wrap it up, one last question, how do we, as common people, help remedy the onset signs of addiction as the people nga nag-view sa ilaha? Okay. How do we insert ourselves in helping? Go dog. Go dog gamos. So, let's go back to ourselves. Reflect to ourselves. Unsa man gyud ang ato ang gusto sa atong life, no? Unsa man gyud atong goals in life? Pangutan-on nimo imong kaugalingon. Unsa may akong gusto? Unsa akong gusto ma-achieve? And How can I achieve this? Should I go with substance use? Kay gusto na ko high per me. What would be the effect on that substance use to yourself? 
in this episode na to, Karun, you know na already kung unsay mga effects ani. So, think back. Unsa mang yun dapat ang ang dapat o ang dili dapat. Okay, maura mag na, we do, each one of us do have our own goals in life. So, mana siya deha ang hunahunaon, unsaon, pag-achieve in a right way. Okay, sa so akong part, ang akong advice, kay, since nahatan na ni Doktor ang katong self-awareness and self... Uh, so, we have to learn to uh, to set ourselves uh, in a uh, disciplinary na pamaagi galingan ng in a way na we could uh, set a goal, like Doktor said, and then do anything to achieve that goal. And then, in achieving that goal also, we have to set some... Uh, series of actions what's what are requirements for sit, uh, for getting these goals and uh, so it's ma a matter of prioritizing and then mm -hmm. what is what comes first and then what comes second and uh, and then in those actions we can achieve our uh, little by little actions to achieve that goal mm -hmm. then with regards to that uh, how can we what again mm -hmm. how can we like as common people, common people. Uh, help remedy the on-site uh, the onset. Uh, onset, onset, <laughs> onset signs of addiction. So, kato decision aside from that is uh, learn to say no, di ba? Katong ganin na yeah. learn, learn to mm -hmm. say no. Kay, kanang learning to say no to some people, manggod kanang mata sila, mawaw yeah. siya. So, uh, before anything starts, since um, say, nakita ninyo sa among gishare sa inyo, learn to say no, gid. Kay, that would uh, be a big help, gid. Mm -hmm. Learn to say no, gin na siya. Ma, no? Okay. So, mo gin na. Sometimes gusto tama mabilong. Sige na lang tayo say yes. We don't want to disappoint people. We it's okay say to yes. say no, gin. Uh, yeah. No, gin. Especially if it doesn't benefit you, na bitaw. Like, although helping other people mm -hmm. is a good thing, mm -hmm. pero pag it doesn't help you. And if it's not good for you, na yeah. gin, avoid it. Yeah. Yun. And mm -hmm. it's about time we use our voice, no? Mm -hmm. In a way, na we say no. Yes. Yeah, ayan. So it has been a very fruitful morning. Ayan. Yes. Mm -mm. And also, mga ka sunshine, no, um, this episode is also yeah, once presented. Again, once again, this episode is presented to us by the Student Services, so yes. the DSA, Aura Clinic, and, and guidance. the Guidance Office. Ayan. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ayan. So. Um, Siguro, um, dili, dili siguro, lain no, if mga yo patag advice, ikaingon eh, ninyo sa um, viewers, viewers na to, labi na sa kanang students, sa parents, parents, parents mm -hmm. or sa inyong mga, kanang ato ang mga friends, sa community, mm -hmm. Orient community, um, dili lang sa, siguro nga, ayaw mo kaadik or something, but inyong advice for them to prevent mm -hmm. or to not get into it or to um, help one another po, mga doki. Ikaw, dok, sa, sa okay, children for, ka. For sa mga kids, I know, <laughs> Uh, there is na magitay problems in each one of us. Don't worry, kay dili lang ikaw ang naaana. So try, try to cope up with that. And then, kung di nagyud kaya, ibutang siya. Uh, set it aside for the meantime and have time for yourself. Uh, do some fun activities. Dili fun nga lahi na nga fun. <laughs> huh? Yes, and then go out with your friends. Um, but uh, go out with your friends, select your friends, nga maugin sila ang makapa help sa imo to achieve your goal. And then for parents naman, try to talk with your kids. Kahit man lang during meal time, mm -hmm. kamustahan kumbaga, di ba? At least man lang said, makabalo ka nga, uy, basig na ana de ay ni siya laing gibati. I know, kailangan tamo provide sa atong kids, we need to to do our work, pero just set again time management. Tagaig time ang imuhang family, mm -hmm. and then for the general public. <laughs> so for the general public, <laughs> ayo put yes tama ayo judge ang ubang tao. Try to reach out, mm -hmm. ask. Uy, kumusta naman ka? Kumusta man imuhang kinabuhi diha imong neighbor? Kumusta han lang? And then ayo ingon nga. Ay, kay kuan siya na. Again, don't be a judgmental. Try to ask. Kung dili pa niya kaya i-open up kay personal, privacy reasons, at least man lang, just a tap sa shoulder. Namurag, it would um, tell that particular person 
maski dili verbalize pero I'm just here to help you just in case you need your, my help. Ayan. So like I said, sa mga parents, mo na akong kwan supposed to be advice. Uh, sa parents na pod kay na students man tong ganina. Mm. <laughs> sa parents pod uh, set a good example tapos be consistent in what whatever yes. you are teaching them. Mm -hmm. And then be uh, be uh, the guys like oras pod especially in a time of a day that dinner time or breakfast they have to be together gadgets away diba ana mm -hmm. classing us True. so more about kita general meeting for the whole family and then akan eh, gawas dito ang problems ana so aside from that um sa mga children pod you have to be kana katong ganina ginagina ko na learn to say no gid kana gid ang pinakakuan gid niyan follow your parents whatever the advice uh, sa parents kay Parents are always uh, good to their children, or should be good to their children. Kay um, tapos ang children po, they have to accept their parents as someone to rely upon. Tapos someone to give them good advice. Kay of uh, in uh, things in the world, of all things in the world, the children are more important to their parents. Mm -hmm. So in the general public, po the same way. Kanang dapat din nato discriminate ang mga addicts. We have to. Um, uh, uh, see what is necessary for them that we can help them also. Mm -hmm. I mentioned the doctor, right? Yes. Kumustahan and then tapos understand. Mm -hmm. Always have an open heart, not True. open ears, yes. not ears. Open heart, open ka. heart. Give love. Open heart. 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 Open so, daghan kayong salamat no, for being with us today. Truly, like, ako na na you with you, kami na na with you. We, like, it's sometimes kahibaw na ta, but we really need koan. Kanang mo no, reinforce mm -hmm. bitaw ang... No, review na po. Um, <laughs> ang review. <laughs> kaya para especially itong mga bata pa may mga senior high school, daghan kayo mga pasimposyo, yeah. mga inana, but wabi, may naminaw kay Gusto rin magtabi-tabi. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, karun nga, we are at the age na kanang mo mas concerned na may sa among community. And mas aware community. na po dito. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Amo na yun na amo na gyud na ano kanang na ma-assess nga bitaw na gyud pud role to play mm. and and with that we would like to read certificate yes. of appreciation ayan kau Gerald is her by awarded to um, Dr. Jesus Mar Maria, Maria Osler, Osler K Bringas for his for given his for giving his previous <laughs> time and sharing his knowledge and expertise as our guest speaker during the FSU Sunnyside episode Get Real About Addiction, held at FSUU, given this 23rd the day of March, signed by Engineer Zenaida D. Azura, Vice President for Admin and Student Affairs. Ayan, and the same certificate of appreciation is given to Dr. Anna Marie J. Gamos. Ayan, we would Yay. like to award to you your certificates. <laughs> Thank you so Yay. much. Thank you Around so the virtual much. applause, ladies and Yay. gentlemen. Ayan. Of course, maybe you'd like to shout out or your shout out to mention, shout out, invite people to your clinics. Ayan. Ah, okay. Uh, shout out na lang sa FSUU clinic. <laughs> si ako mga nurses, Marilo and Mildred and Christine. Thank you for all your help at all times. Yeah. Services ninyo mga doki. And yes, mm -hmm. atong FSU help hotline. Anytime, text mo, email mo, asa naman tong atong FSU help hotline. Magawas na na si Sir Morris karon niya. Sige, doc, yes. guys. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, katong shout out sa akong mga uh, bata, uh, akong children, <laughs> si Joseph and uh, Claire, who supported me and advised me on how to do <laughs> this <laughs> webinar. Kay, uh, I, I, I thought it was awkward, one God, kay, uh, I was used to doing the Zoom. Oh. Then it was, uh, more, uh, 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 and live then. Live face to face. And lingaw day siya, no? Oh, lingaw po. <laughs> Tapos, uh, relaxing po. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uh, bug na lang yung room. Oh, bug na, bug na lang. Na shato, uh, na flash my, na. Inote na mo, ah, inote na mo na dog. Bug na ka agit. And then, also to my wife who, 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 who. Yes, yeah, yee, gihatod dyan niya si Dr. Gihatod good ko niya diri kaya. I didn't know about the place. Gihatod. Sa no odds. Tapos ang mga nurses sa clinic to. Uh, yeah. Si Mildred, Imo si po din yung clinic, Dr. And uh, by the way, uh, I am, kuhan, subscribe me at Facebook. Ano ko yung clinic sa Facebook. Wow. Uh, nice. Uh, bring us medical clinic. Oh, okay. And then, I am also in the, kanangaling, kuhan, um, Toto, PPD app. You can uh, ah, search oh. my name there. Kung na mo'y ganahan na mag... 
uh, online consultation. Ooh, oh. amazing. Grabe ka timely so, online. So, kasi ako i-thank ko. Oh, Mora, bito. Apa do? Uh, Ibang mga physician friends, inyong physician friends. <laughs> Wala na daw. Ako na din nagbot-bot. <laughs> Kaya pag may mga friends. Oh, nasa ka mga friends, di lang nila i-shout out. So, wala man po daw sa Actually, to me, me to mention. Naghanda uh, kayo sila. Murag, murag na itong time. Sana over all. Time all time dag- dag- sana all daghan friends. So, Bitaw ni over time. And all na lang. And all. Oh, and all. And all. Yeah. 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 Colleagues yeah. in the medical field. Correct. Ayan. So, once again, thank you so much for giving us your precious time. No, kay Kukurampin. Saving lives right now, and you're here with yes. us. Saving more lives, as well, yes. actually. Mm. And, uh, ayan. So, realizations. Ayan. Yes, now mm. it's time for us to um, ponder upon. Uh, uh-uh. So, ako una. So, uh-uh. well, um, for me, no, uh, we all we really need to connect, no, and mm-hmm. care for them to realize the value of life and the people around them, no. Uh, most of the people, mga good put an kay um um they're addicted and uh, we need to know the reasons why kay basi mao put na sila and what. So ingon ana no um because I also believe good put no nga, a taste once became a, a taste once becomes a lifelong desire. So maragun siya og open hands extend to people good put yun ang inahanan og help. Yeah, matud pa sa Senior Pedro, once tasted, always, always wanted. wanted. <laughs> At least sa manok, no, tama adik, ane. okay ra na, dok, no, ana. But now, before ko I go with my realizations, I would like to proceed with the announcements, by the way, mm-hmm. that um, there will be a peace and presidential balls coming up, yes, with VP Lenny Robredo, represented by Attorney Barry Gutierrez, this um, afternoon, 3 p.m., ayan, so via Zoom and streaming online, we get to hear about their platforms, and at the same time, there will be reflections of um, students and people who will be joining with them in the webinar or the session this afternoon. Also, we have a new degree program is yes. offered at the university, the Bachelor of Science in Entertainment and Multimedia Computing under the FSU Computer Studies program. So, mm-hmm. become the first Orient gamer and we hope to see game developer. Uh, Uy, what? Game, game <laughs> developer. Uy, kay, kung gamer lang daghan na sila. Become the first Orient game developer. So, <laughs> Okay, So become the oh yeah, uh, become the first Uyan game developer, and Ayan. we hope to see you on campus soon. Ayan, okay, na rag, mahal kita. Oh, intern pa mi guys, ha, intern pa mi. <laughs> okay, and of course, we'd like to also announce that there will be a confirmation no, for the basic education tomorrow na siya dito sa ato ang Morelos campus. And of course, this April 1st, 2022, 9 in the morning, live on our Facebook page will be an Uyan. Virtual open house. house. The doors are finally opening. Char. But now, if you're gonna, if um you're going to college and you don't know what course you would mm-hmm. like to take pa, or you're still undecided and this is you know really you're perfect for yeah, them. and you're looking for a school to apply to, of mm-hmm. course, uh, join our community. On sa ba? Kita mo ane? Char. But now, guys, join us now. Yes, um, you are welcome, John. And the Orion community is a very safe space for you. Mm-hmm. Ayan. So for my realization, Gerald. Yes. Um, I realized na dilita dilita dapat maghatag outright judgment just like what you said but mm-hmm. at the same time po kita mismo sa atong kaugalingon we should set limits and boundaries and we have to be self aware mm-hmm. like for example um, if grabe na kayo ta with social media with kay ba aside from substance abuse ato ta sa mga behavior mm-hmm. like what Dr. Bringa said, um, dapat po tamo immerse po in being mindful. Kitudlo po ni sa guidance, no? Sa atong life skills. Yeah. Na, <laughs> dapat mindful ta. Pag manghugas kag kamot, i-feel ang dagan sa tubig sa imong kamot. Kay, di ba, like, mawal, because magod of the highs nga ihatag sa ato apod sa mga social media nga, kikiingon nila gain na sa online games. Malimot na mm-hmm. ta. So, ayan, set limits, set boundaries, and learn to say no. Mojo na ang it's akong okay pinaka to take away today. Correct. It's okay to say no. Bisan sa mga toxic na people, it's okay to say no. Kasi hindi pwedeng addict sa'yo lang lagi. Hindi <laughs> pwedeng yes lang palagi. Ah. Correct. Hindi oh. pwedeng lagi ng tayong addict sa'yo. Ah, wait sa akin. Ayan. So, kung niabot mo taman sa end sa among video, karoon na ang panahon para mag-evaluate na mo sa ato ang morning episodes on the sunny side please click on the evalu- evaluation links at the comment section okay congratulations you have reached this far 
ng Congrats. Sa and we hope that you really learned something and mugawas din ha sa inyong evaluation. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, gusto may magpasalamat sa inyong yes. kanan for being with us today. This has been your host, Anne Monique. And I'm Gerald. See you soon. Og dalaygon ang Diyos. Diyos. Shout out <laughs> SEO team and the interns. Ayan. And of course, bye-bye. <laughs> Ayan. <laughs>